Good morning. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on S3. We're going to bring you so much in the form of entertainment to kickstart your Monday because the Stellenbosch International Chamber Music Festival is an event you do not want to miss. It's an outstanding musicianship and a nurturing ground for young talent where inspiration, education and world-class music performances combine. Oh, it's so good. And it's taking place very soon from the 5th to the 14th of July 2024. Let's have a look at this. like that can make you feel better. Just imagine what a, an entire experience, lived experience could be like. Well, joining us right now to chat more about what will be happening this July is Nina Schumann, who is the artistic director of the festival. And man, you've got to see her behind the keys. And the director, Peter uh, Martins. And let's give him a very feel-good welcome because it yeah. is early yeah. on a Monday morning. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and you are musos, okay? And musos are generally nocturnal, so this is an early, early morning for you guys. I know. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, the, the previous time we connected, I think, opened our eyes to a, a whole world of magic and wonder in these moments. So, Peter, maybe I can start with you. What can festival goers expect when they go down for the International Chamber Music Festival this year? There's a... Where do you start? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking whilst you were asking the question, where on earth do I start with that? It's a 10-day festival. There's a very, very full program. Uh, as far as the public is concerned, things start um, with the lunch hour concerts, although we, we are having rehearsals and the students are having rehearsals from 9 o'clock in the morning. Wow. But every, every day is a packed program, so we have a lunch hour concert, a 1 o'clock concert and a 5 o'clock concert for students. And we have about 300 students and we make about 100 or 90 student groups, different wow. groups, and they, they perform in their small ensembles in these concerts. In between these concerts, we have uh, <clears throat> lectures, we have public masterclasses, we have coaching sessions, and then in the evening at 8 o'clock in the Endler Hall, we have the coveted faculty concerts. So that's when... Um, the faculty of the festival, and the faculty is made up of about 30 international stars. Wow. Um, I was going to say, let's say the best musicians that we're liable to see on one stage group together. It really, <laughs> it really is like a, there's no other collective of musicians uh, in, in our genre of, of that level mm. in South Africa, except for at the Stellenbosch International Chamber Music Festival. And we also, we, we, we do exactly what the students do. We get together on two or three rehearsals and put together amazing programmes. Nina works all of that out, so yeah. she does fantastic <laughs> programmes. You, know, you can, can see tell. the steam yeah. rising from your head. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, and it, it's just so wonderful. Um, you, mm. I mean, we, we have dual roles as, as organisers and as performers, mm. and when we walk out on that stage and those students who've been working oh. hard all day now sit in the audience yeah. together with the with the public, it's usually sold out. Oh, um, hopefully it's this electric yeah. atmosphere, and we play Beautiful. all this wonderful music, a lot of which doesn't regularly get played in yes. South Africa. So it's a okay. unique opportunity for us as performers and for the audience to hear some amazing works. I'm just Beautiful. thinking of all the threads that are coming together Can with you imagine? us. imagine? Yeah. And speaking about threads coming together, I mean, Nina, you've got your work cut out for you <laughs> as artistic director. How, how exactly did you put everything together, everything that, of course, Peter just mentioned? Well, uh, you know, this is our 19th uh, festival. So when we started off, we started rather conservatively. Mm. And, and my job is basically to select the international faculty and uh, the local faculty as well, and then to come up with the music that you're going to hear. Now, uh, Peter calls it strange bedfellows. <laughs> essentially, um, what I do is I put a lot of composers together in the same bed. Uh, so, um, I mean, the, the quality of the 
the faculty that we have are such you can give them bob black sheep to, to play and it will be revolutionary sure. it'll so, be angelic yeah yeah and i i mean the energy we constantly talk about the magic of the festival but it's the only place in the world that i've ever seen the audience stand up and do a Mexican wave at the end of oh, the wow. concert. <laughs> and we are talking about and chamber music. Yes. yes. And yeah. it's classical music, which exactly. is just extraordinary. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I know people are waiting with bated breath. Where can we buy tickets? Also, did you just see uh, Nina and Peter looking this gorgeous? You both look evening. exquisite, <laughs> OK? For so people good. who are, are generally forcing <laughs> yourselves to stay behind the scenes, yes. you both look wow. absolutely exquisite. I cannot wait to see you do what you mm -hmm. do best. Oh. Uh, we will keep all of the uh, Concert details, all the ticketing details up. Uh, I would imagine tickets are going to go fast, but an opportunity not just for your musicians, for the audience members, for us, but those that are in this field to plug into what sounds like the most incredible wow. community of artists. A very, very rare, but a golden opportunity. And of course, we will bring you just a little taste here on your feel good breakfast show, so don't stray too far.